Lymphaticus, Latin for connected to water, quite appropriately embodies this system, which shares a deep connection to all parts of our bodies. The inner motion of our bodies allows for the circulation of lymph. It flows throughout a network of lymphatic vessels that returns interstitial fluid back to the venous system. Collections of vessels combine into the lymphatic trunk, further draining into either the right lymphatic duct or thoracic duct. This network of vessels aids in the defense against pathogens, absorption of fats, and balance of fluids. The lymphatic system is important in its contribution to the immune functions of our bodies, involved in both innate and acquired immunity. Our body attempts to defend itself from the outer world. The lymphatic system is comprised of several components, lymph, lymphatic vessels, lymph nodes and nodules, the thymus gland and spleen, and lymphocytes. Each part of this system, from gross anatomy to the smallest cells, are vastly important in allowing the rest of our bodies to function properly. This is evident in human immunodeficiency virus, a retrovirus that attacks T helper cells. Complications from HIV AIDS result from the reduced ability of the immune system to fight against pathogens that typically would not be as severe in a healthy individual, potentially leading to opportunistic infections and even death. The lymphogenous spread of cancers, particularly carcinomas, is another example of the importance for understanding the routes of lymph drainage to develop a treatment plan for metastatic spread of cancers. Lymphocytes, a subcategory of white blood cells, spearhead immune functions in the body, whether based in humoral or cellular immunity. Humoral immunity occurs with B cells, including plasma cells and memory B cells, whereas cellular immunity occurs with cytotoxic T cells. One of the most typical indicators of infection is enlargement of the lymph nodes, little bean-shaped structures located all over the body. They contain specialized cells for immune functions. Oftentimes, it is a clear sign of infection when these lymph nodes are enlarged, painful, and inflamed. You can feel your own lymph nodes if you learn their location and move your fingers in a circular motion. The size, tenderness, and feeling of these nodes may indicate immune responses within. With knowledge of the complex structures and functions of the lymphatic system, one can understand its importance in fields like public health, healthcare, and even our own lives.